Hey, Mark Biz. I uh, just thought I'd do something a little different. Uh, probably going to set a trend here doing this. You'll probably see more and more of the, the top bidders do this. Uh, just something different. Uh, I'm going to just go through, uh, go through my gear bag of what I bring to the field every weekend. Uh, so I'll just spool until 30, by the way. Uh, so here's my gear bag that I'll bring every weekend. So it's regular Planet Eclipse bag. Um, getting kind of beat up in the in the in the interior of it. Got a lot of cuts and stuff from using it so much. Um, so you can see, there's the HK paint and what's left of the Die CG paint I won. Um, so I'm just gonna start going through this one item by one item. Uh, this is what I bring to the field pretty much every weekend. So. I mean, I obviously have more stuff, but this is my uh, my main loadout. Uh, so we'll just start right here with the small pocket. First thing out, and now I'm gonna tell you exactly. Also, when I go through these items, I'm gonna say what I want on marker bids and uh, what I just bought myself, so you can have an idea of what you can do, what what this site can actually do for your uh, for your gear. I'm sitting on a bottle of Windex. All right, so first up, I have my, so I always bring a lens case. Did win this on marker bits through a, a shopping spree. Inside, I got uh, just a couple KLR lenses that I also won on marker bits. Just a couple other lenses just in case one gets scratched or, I don't know, I just want to change the flavor up a little bit, you know? Uh, pod caddy. I mean, not to explain this, everyone should use one of these. This I've had for a long time. I didn't win that song market bid, but I mean, every every player should have one of these definitely. My knee pads. A couple of dye knee pads. Uh, bought these off Craigslist, actually. The guy selling them dirt cheap, went for twenty bucks. Always good to have them pets. And as you know, as I'm telling the truth of what I bring this every weekend, here's a dirty sock from last weekend that I need to wash. And actually, it's a, it's a Planet Eclipse sock that I want off market bids. <laughs> All right, next up, got some Planet Eclipse elbow pads. Want these off marker bids. HK headband, I uh, bought this from a guy at the field, but I got, oh, you know, you always got to stock up on, uh, stock up on headbands. All right, next up, we got my mask. I did win these off marker bids, microfiber in there. These are the uh, HK KLRs, still got some paint on them uh, from last weekend. Slime green. Actually, let me be right back. I'm going to let a little more light in here. There we go. That's better. All right. Next up, HK Ball Breaker. One off marker bids. And then old school now you don't see these too much anymore but they are actually really good i got this probably in 2004 you can see it's falling apart but when you're off the field a good pull through pull through squeegee won't uh it won't hurt you to have one of these it'll make your barrel clean with one swipe always good to have let's see what else i got in this pocket uh this little barrel covers uh, old school Miami effect barrel cover. All right, going into the big stuff. And obviously I'm gonna save the good stuff for the last, you know what I'm talking about. All right, I usually bring a different jersey every weekend. But uh, as you can see, this is um, 
my Tropics Hawaii jersey. We did a run an HK thing last year, so uh, got my name and number on the back. And I don't know why people are so sketchy about revealing their names online. I mean, if you look hard enough, you can find people. So there's my name. I don't really care. Number 11. Got the Galaxy print on the bottom. Pretty nice light jersey. And uh, obviously, I didn't win that off Marker Bids, so it was made for our team. This jersey, though, won off Marker Bids. It's drying because I, I did wear this one last week, and I just washed it. Like Chicago Aftershock jersey. Then uh, private label pants. These are the best pants I've ever used. And my buddy uh, on our team, Jonah, he has a clothing company, and he made these. Uh, nice digi print pattern. The zipper's broken on them, but I still wear them just because they're so, so damn comfortable. Um, you won't find these probably anywhere. Next up, got a, it's all pod swab. Won this off marker bids. <clears throat> all right, let's do the, uh, the hoppers now. I bring a lot of gear in the field, and this all is in my gear bag, mind you. We got one rotor, two rotor, Spire, and a GI Pulse RDR. Why do I bring so many loaders? Well, shit breaks, uh, I guess you could say. So, uh, on the rotor, off mark bids. I bought the spine, won the rotor off marker bids, X plus cast sticker from uh, Hustle Paintball, won the speed feed off uh, marker bids, Spire 260, X plus cast sticker from Hustle Paintball, lime green, my favorite color, won this off marker bids as well as the speed feed off marker bids. And then the GI Pulse RDR with the, the new updates. I, uh, I got this for my birthday for my wife, actually. So that's that. All right, next up, there's my other sock. All right, I always bring a ton of swabs. Got two Exalt Barrel Maids, won these off marker bids, and then uh, one use, still a couple in the packaging that I keep just in case, um, the CP Microfiber Swabs, also this came uh, with five that I won off marker bids as well. Another uh, HK Army Ball Breaker from the, the three pack that I won off marker bids, another little headband. Alright, Deadly Winds, Barrel, and then it takes inserts. Carbon Fire Barrel, I used this, uh, I actually started using this on uh, my Carnivore because the barrel that it came with was, uh, it was, the bore size was too big and balls were just rolling out. So I'm using this with my Carnivore. I did win this off Marker Bids. Tank time. All right, black SL77 marker bids. All right, this is a 68 SL68 marker bids. Red SL77 marker bids. And green SL77 marker bids. Yes, I bring three tanks to the field. Why? Because as T. Arnold could explain this at our field, the air station is not by the field. You have to walk like 18 miles to get to the air station. So uh, I like to fill up all my tanks and that way I can just pretty much play all day and uh, not have to go fill up air ever and just sit on my lazy butt. All right. Sandana, Bunker Kings, We Kill Suckers, won this off marker bids. Uh, another squeegee, actually. 
Straight Shot Vulcan. Uh, got this before I even knew about Marker Bits. I've had this, this for a while. Let's keep it in the plastic because, you know, keeps it clean. Alright, Bunker Kings uh, Pod Pack. Um, won this off Marker Bits. Love this pack. Uh, I'm thinking about getting the HK one because it has the adjustable uh, the adjustable uh, pod holder thingies. And then uh, Green Pods won the pods off Marker Bids as well. Alright, now to the goodies. Oh no, not yet. I lied. No goodies yet for you guys. Alright, for tools, I keep it pretty simple for tools. I have. This thing, it's, it's, a, it's a reg breaker, basically. When I first got these tanks, you know, hard to take off the reg. If you take off both burst discs, this slides right over. Both burst discs engaged. This slides right over, and then you can torque your thing off. It also has a small gauge turn and a, a large gauge turn. So as you can see, the gauge, when you take it off, just fits right on there, and you can torque it off. Love this tool. Got this on Facebook, actually. Uh, from some guy who makes them. Then, of course, good set of Allens with the ball on the bottom. I'm missing my tiniest one. I don't know what happened to it. Kind of pissed about that, but can't can't go to the field without Allen wrenches. I mean, it's a must-have. And then, of course, Teflon tape. I mean, this thing it comes in handy. It just comes in handy. I, I don't know what else to say about it. I mean, every every person going to the field should have a roll of Teflon tape. They're like 80 cents on A&S gear. Uh, should pick, pick one of those up. All right, next we got... I always bring zip ties to the field. As you can see, I only have a few left. I have used them uh, for just random stuff that... You know, you might just need a zip tie for. I don't know what to explain how, what I've used it for, but I know I have. Then we got, got a little bit of Hustle Paintball uh, goggle cleaner that I got in one of their, uh, what do you call it, the mystery, the mystery boxes that I ordered from them. And then uh, some Dow 33 lube. It's made by uh, Molecoat. Um, like, you have all this nice stuff and you don't use geolube or anything like that or I mean this is the same stuff this is the same stuff Planet Eclipse lube costs like 20 bucks for a little bottle this big and this stuff costs 15 bucks and you can use it forever and it's the same exact stuff as Dow 33 lube I use this on all my guns alright what's next uh... Look got some uh, pathogen grease. It's a lube that I got from the mystery box. I just threw it in my gear bag. I've never used it. So I wouldn't be a good person to ask how it, how it works or anything like that. Let's put that back in the pocket. And then... Okay, I don't have them in my, uh, in my bag right now because I just actually bought more. But hold on one second. Go to Costco and buy some batteries. Always got batteries. I don't keep these in my gear bag. I keep them in the trunk of my car. Because if you keep them in the gear bag, you know, sometimes your stuff's wet and gets soggy and it ruins the battery. So I just keep them in the trunk of my car. But always carry plenty and plenty of batteries. Uh, my wife just texted me. All right. Now I think we can get on to the good stuff. I always bring three guns to the field, um, just because someone might need to borrow one, and like if one of my teammates is go down, they need to borrow one, or if mine goes down, I'm gonna need a backup. So uh, I usually switch them around. The one gun that I always bring to the field, no matter what, I did not win this off marker bids. Uh, but I did trade, uh, I had a Geo 3.1 that I was using, and then when I had a chance to get one of these, I traded, uh, my Geo 3.1, and, uh, actually two more guns. 
what were, I can't remember what they were. Uh, what did I trade? I traded three guns for this when it, when it first came out because I really wanted one. Um, and that is uh, my Prestige GSL. It's like American Express. I never leave home without it. Um, still have most of the stuff, actually. I'm trying to keep it in as original as can be. Allens are still in plastic. Bolts still in plastic. Barrel cover still in plastic. Everything's still in plastic. Because I'm just trying to, you know, keep it as mint as I can. Don't unwrap the Allen wrenches because I have a set. Same with the barrel cover. I have plenty of those. But that is the one gun I will always bring to the field. Uh, the gun I brought last weekend, one of, the, one of my mix-up guns, is uh, it got Empire Vanquish 1.5. I won this off marker bids. Right there, a little dirty. I love this gun. Um, really underrated gun, actually, because uh, the 1.0 had so many problems. Uh, you can get these really cheap now. Um, I won this off marker bids for I think like $123 total, uh, and I love it. I've used it a lot. Uh, I use it at WCPPL actually. Uh, it broke. Uh, it started leaking out of the trigger frame. Uh, something went wrong with this internal seal or something, but I fixed it. it works fine now. Um, but yeah, I love that gun. Put that back in there. That's why I carry extra guns, because you know, no matter how much you spend on a gun, it could break. And last but not least, uh, my newest addition. Uh, brought this to the field last week because I, uh, I wore my Aftershock jersey last week, so got to bring this to the field if you're wearing that. It is my Aftershock 3.5 that I won on marker bids. Also, got a little bit of the accents for the, for the grip kits. Didn't change it out completely. I didn't want it totally blue, but I won the grip kit uh, off marker bids as well. So that's my Chicago Aftershock 3.5. And yes, again, this is what I bring to the field every single weekend. Uh, obviously, I change the guns up um, from time to time. Uh, well, I'm looking around to see if I have any of my other guns readily available that are right around here. I have one. Okay, I got this one, and it's got a GI marker case, one on marker bids. Wrong pocket. This is my, uh, my Lux 2.0. Had this for uh, almost two years now. Uh, it took me a long time to get it. Uh, I don't really use it anymore. It just kind of sits on the shelf over there. Um, you know, it's kind of temperamental, but I just, I worked really hard to get this gun, and this was before I was coming on marker bids. Uh, I traded and traded and traded and traded uh, up and up to finally get this gun. Um, and it's just, it, it kind of just means a lot to me, so I don't really shoot anymore, but I, I don't think I'll ever sell it. Uh, and that's also why I have, you know, Zacks plus cash stickers and stuff like that, because, uh, Traded and traded and traded a lot to get this gun, and it just it really means a lot to me. But um, that's all I have right in the vicinity right now. Uh, Insight. Um, got a couple. I want a couple insights off marker bids as well. One's uh, actually in uh, my die gear bag from the one that I that I want off marker bids too. That I took the WCPPL. And I put that back in storage uh, after I got home with it. Um, then uh, my GO3, it's just uh, totally black, midnight black. Uh, I want that just so if I go in the woods, I can still have you know a gun that rips, but that's not bright and colorful because I love bright and colorful guns. So I use that for woods ball. Um, 
I think that's uh, that's about it for the for the guns that I won from Mark Brigades. So yeah, that was my uh, that was my gear bag. Um, probably gonna start a trend now. See other people using their gear bags. But uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed that. Saw all the stuff I won off Mark Brigades. Pretty much eighty percent, eighty five percent of my gear bag is uh is Mark Brigades. Uh, there's my DJI Phantom. I also won off Mark Brigades. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching, guys.